everyone, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my February Project Pan update. I'm going to update you on all the products in my Project Pan and tell you how much I've used them and if I like them or not so far. So my first item is the Milani Bella Bronze Metallic Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. I used it twice in January and I'm wearing it today on my eyes. And I like to use this over top of the e.l.f. Jumbo Eye Stick that's in my Project Pan as well. So this is just a nice bronzy shade. So this is a baked eyeshadow so it's not very creamy at all. So when I've been using this it doesn't really um, reflect that much on my lids by itself but when you put a cream or something underneath it to make it more pigmented it definitely um, shows its metallic side. So I've only used this twice and so far I'm enjoying it. I obviously haven't made that many of a dent but you can tell that the top layer of this is getting more used. So next is the Urban Decay Scratch Eyeshadow. It's just a single shadow and it's like a pinky metallic shade. So I used it four times in January and that's how much I expected myself to use it because I don't really use pink shades very often. So there's no noticeable change with how much product is left but I did use it four times. And yes, I still like this product. I will keep on using it. So here is the product I was talking about. This is the e.l.f. Jumbo Eye Stick in the shade Turkish Coffee. It's this metallic bronze shade and it's more of a brown bronze rather than a lighter bronze. And as you can see, you just scroll it up and then you have your product. It's not a sharpened pencil. I used it four times in January and we have used enough to see visible change in the product here. So with our January intro update, I said it was 2.8 centimeters and now it's down to two and a half centimeters. So with only four uses we have gotten down the product to 2.5 centimeters. And yes I have been enjoying this product. I do like it. It doesn't move on my eyes. It's not very greasy. I do like the formula. Not really any complaints here. Maybe other than it's kind of bulky but other than that. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Loose Setting Powder. I used it six times in January and this is just what the product looks like it's just a white powder and it's very messy so I've used it six times and my feelings on it really haven't changed I don't really care for this powder what I have noticed is that there's little bits of like clumps of powder and either it wasn't sifted or kind of ground up very well in the production of it or just over time it's starting to clump together and you can see the specks on your brush and you put them on your face and then you have to go over with another brush to kind of wipe it off because there's excess powder so I don't really know if we've made a dent in this because it's hard to tell how much I've used but we're definitely not at the bottom quite yet next I have is the Marc Jacobs lip cream and kiss kiss bang bang and this is just like a little travel It's just that type of day for me right now. This is a little travel size type of little guy. So there's not that much product left in here. I only used it twice in January. And I do like the formula of this. I'm also not a huge fan of this color because I don't really wear berries very much. But I will use it up for sure. So at the start of January, we were at 1.5 centimeters of product. And now we're at maybe 1.4 centimeters. So really no change, but you can tell we're starting to make progress. Then we have the Bite Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Chai. This is another trial size type of um, lipstick tube. So I used it four times in January, and I do actually like this color. It's a little bit darker than what I would use like as an everyday lip color. The formula of this is really nice as well. I definitely see myself using this up in maybe four or so months. At the start of January, we're at 1.9 centimeters of product, and now we're we're at 1.6 centimeters, so that is uh, quite a bit of a dip. So this here is the Jara Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Serenity, and I used it twice in January. I was expecting myself to use it a little bit more than that, but I didn't. I really like this shade as well. It's a little bit darker than what I would usually go for. I do still like this lipstick, and I think I'll keep using this for as long as I can before it gets too old and dry. So this here is my Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. And yes, it's in a plastic bag. Go check out my intro video to see why. So I'm wearing this on my lips today 
and it's a nice formula I wish it was a little bit of a newer product to be honest because I probably really really like this I like the color of it as well I only used it twice in January because it's so hard to use with this plastic bag and it's very sticky and greasy and it's not very fun to um, use because you gotta go wash your hands right after in my intro video I said I wanted this to be finished by the end of January and that didn't turn out so I think I'll use it for February and then I'll see at the end of the month if it's all done or if it's just getting on my nerves then maybe I'll throw it out then. Check back for my March update video to see if this guy will be gone or not. But just basing it on the product, I do like this lip formula but this travel size version of it is just not cute. And lastly we have the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette. This was from my 2018 Project Pan. And in January, we used it eight times, which is the most of any product in my Project Pan. We have made a way bigger pan in this shade right here, this like pinky, rose, cool toned matte shade. So this shade is like halfway used up and that's so exciting. This one has a dent and so does this one right here. And yes, I still like this product. So there's the pan in that shadow right there. That is a big pan. Every time I dip in there with my brush, there is a lot of fallout. So that guys, that is my project pan update for February. Please subscribe down below if you want to see March's update. Please like this video and comment down below how your project pan is doing. I would honestly like to know. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.